Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make bullet patterns with the shoot em up kit. So we make the bullet pattern in the particle editor. So if I go to create new, um, give the particle a name, so I'll call it bullet wave 1. And you can either use 3D models or 2D sprites uh, for the bullets. So I'll just stick with 2D sprites for now. And Okay, for that one for the bullet, it's not showing up very well at the moment, but you can change the colours. So if I make it black for now, see it's a bit more visible. So you go for a point emitter, so all the bullets will appear from the same point. There's different options, but for a bullet pattern, um, they all need to be appearing from the gun. So maximum particles is the maximum to display at once. So I've set that a bit higher. The release interval of one second, if I set this small to 0.05 seconds, then you can see the bullets are released a lot more frequently. And number to release at once is one at the moment, set that to 12. Then 12 will be released every 0 0.05 of a second. So if I increase the speed now, because that's too slow for a bullet, if I increase that up to 100, you're starting to get a bit more of a, a pattern there. So spread at the moment your pitch and roll at 11 degrees. If we rotate this round, you can see sort of in each direction uh, the bullets are appearing within an angle range of 11 degrees. But for this, if we set your and pitch down to zero and roll to 90. There we have a 90 degree range and if you look at it from the side it's appearing flat. So at the moment it's set for a random spread so there's just random angles between the bullets being released. If we switch that off we're getting a regular pattern there now. And the single shot is just if you want a single release. So just get a single shot like that. But with that switched off you get the continuous release. So you can add to get the pattern you can add to different key rate keyframes. So this first key rave keyframe I've got a duration of one second. So if I set that something small to 0.2 you've got this first frame of the bullets. So if we add a second keyframe, you could leave the same colour or change it to something different. Um, give this a short duration as well, to give that one point two. And uh, I'll make it black again so it shows up. And in this one we can give a different particle rotation. So if we set this to so set it to minus fifty. It wants to be a relative adjustment. Relative adjustment just keeps keeps the pattern even. So as you can see in the second frame it's starting to curve up. So if we play around with this angle you can see get different patterns. You can add more keyframes. So if I add a third one, make this slight, slightly longer. If I zoom out a bit, you see getting a more interesting patterns there. Change the roll on this again. So playing around with these different keyframes and the different rotations, if we go back to the last keyframe, decrease that a bit more, you can get whatever pattern you like. So if we leave it at that one and I'll set the colours back to white, confirm and done. 
And now if we go back to the level editor, first of all we need to create a weapon definition with the new bullet pattern. So there's one already that comes with the shooter book kit called bullet pattern. So if I copy that one, we can use it as a basis for our new one. So you can give it a better name if you want to. It's just a copy of bullet pattern at the moment. And instead of the existing bullet pattern, I'll choose our new one. Uh, the minimum and maximum duration, if I set these to zero, then it will fire as long as the fire button's pressed. Um, you can set it so the particle will fire for a minimum or a maximum length of time after fire is pressed. This is good with the NPCs because if you set it say between two and four seconds it will fire the bullet pattern for a random number between two and four seconds. So I also need to choose a bullet. Um, go for the 2D bullet player to start with. And we say OK. Then go to the player and the weapon definition, change that from default to a new copy of bullet pattern. And then if I test the game, there's our bullet pattern. So if I go back to the weapon definition, I could change the bullet pattern, go for the laser green one. You can also change the projectile damage, so instead of doing a damage of 100, so each bullet only does damage of 1. So if I say OK and try that one, you get the green bullets now and each bullet only does single damage, so it needs 100 hits to destroy the player. There it goes. Thank you for listening.